Hello and welcome, one and all, back to OmniFit TV. If you're watching this, then you obviously watched the game that was just on. I'm honestly out of words. <laughs> I'm probably going to mix up a lot of the uh, next couple of sentences that come out of my mouth. I'm going to try to be as professional as possible, obviously, but as I have said before, I am a Chelsea fan. And it's not just because I'm a fan that I am happy, it's the fact that the team earned this. We are through to our third UEFA Champions League final, the third All-English UCL final. Uh, the first one was obviously in 2008 between Man United and Chelsea. The second, a couple of years ago between Liverpool and Tottenham. I can't remember the year and I obviously don't want to remember the final because it was... No bias intended, but it was the worst UEFA Champions League final and one of the worst football finals that I had ever watched. Alongside the FIFA World Cup final of 2010. Those two games. Yeah, Just, yeah. Anyways, time to put on the professional face. I'm making this video to just react to everything as it happened to sort of review the game. I was quite happy with how the game started off. I felt like it was an interesting tale of two halves to begin with. I mean, you can never really understand how the away goals rule is going to affect the game until it kicks off. I mean, I personally have always wanted to... Um, I've always preferred to watch my team play the away game first because I have always valued the away goal in a way that it's become a lot more crucial than the home tie. You play it away and you score as often as you possibly can. And then you just sit back at home and watch things unfold. As Mourinho did against uh, FC Barcelona. I mean, everyone probably remembers the Inter-Barca game. Ten years ago. Come on. <laughs> I'm a bit nervous about this. I tried to set this up and make it. A lot more genuine. I felt like I should spend a lot more time communicating with the people watching. Even if it means I'm going to mess up certain sentences. I'm probably going to go live uh, on either YouTube or Instagram. Probably connect both platforms and try that out. Because I really want to put myself on that line, so to speak. And if you're wondering what this red file is. This is, well... Uh, I wasn't planning on making this video. I wasn't planning on having to uh, pick everything up and just settle in and talk about the game, talk about where Omnifoot could possibly go from here on end, but from here on out. Yeah, I'm having a hard time talking. This file contains articles, references, and so on about the uh, Turin plane crash of 49. And I spent most of today just studying it, paying attention to as many details as possible, taking notes. I wanted to be as clear as humanly possible about how I wanted to communicate and tell this story. There's a lot in here that I'm going to unpack, but that's for the next video. What I want to do with this is turn this into a podcast, so to speak, a video podcast, and then hopefully soon, you know, make the audio files available for everyone who would feel like listening. I, I can't begin to express how proud I am of my team. I can't begin to express how impressed I am with the work ethic that certain players have put out. N'Golo Kante is obviously a given. Jorginho, who was benched by Lampard and hadn't played much under him. Rudiger, who, to be genuinely fair, after his horror show against West Ham last season in the PL, I just thought was done. Zuma, who was... Zuma was shaky. Zuma was quite shaky ever since Mourinho left the club. He went out on loan at Everton, tried to regain his sense of consistency and confidence. When Lampard came in, Zuma was still slightly inconsistent. You could sense that he was still shaky. 
And despite the fact that he didn't start tonight, neither he or Giroud, I saw them both on touchline as they were about to come on at the end of the game. I have to commend the man on a sub. On I have to commend the man on his substitutions. <laughs> I'm thinking way too fast. Pulisic did brilliantly. Ziyech coming on. I would have wanted Ziyech to come out to come on earlier though. This game, this game, this game has been a long time coming. This joy, the result overall has been a long time coming. Before this game, Madrid and Chelsea had only faced off three times. And in each one of those games, Chelsea had not lost. Now they've become five times and Chelsea remain undefeated against Los Blancos. It's quite the respectful record. Again, I'm quite proud. Although, um, I would like to uh, wish any Real Madrid fan watching this uh good luck throughout the remainder of the La Liga campaign. Hopefully you can mount a sort of comeback to manage to get La Liga done and dusted. Although it seems as though no team wants to win <laughs> La Liga this season. All three main competitors have been quite uh, inconsistent. Sevilla actually had a chance there, but uh, their loss against Atletic de Bilbao earlier uh, this week kind of summed up how much effort they still had to make to get there. They fell through at the very last hurdle. It's a shame. And with that, I mean, I don't want to keep going on and on, although I'll probably be doing a lot of that in the next couple of videos. So, you know, thank you for tuning in. And to any other Chelsea fans watching, Congratulations, my friends. We have finally made it to another final. It's been nine long years. Nine long years. <laughs> I really can't hide my excitement. Anyways, the uh, the Torino air crash video is probably going to go up tomorrow morning. So stay tuned. And I will see you then. Cheers, everyone.